So the question is, an aeroplane is flying at a height of 300 meter above the ground. Flying at this height, the angle of depression from the aeroplane of two points on both banks of a river in opposite direction are 45 degree and 60 degree. Find the width of the river. So aeroplane is flying at a height of 300 and 300 meter above the ground. So let us draw the ground level. Let AB be the ground level. Okay. And here is an aeroplane. Let C be the position of the aeroplane. And uh, from the ground level, aeroplane is at a height of 300 meter. I am marking it as D. So the height of CD, length of CD is given as 300 meter. What is the next thing in the question? Flying at this height, that means in this position, the angle of depression from the aeroplane of two points on both banks of the river. So we can see two points on both banks of the river. I already marked it as A and B. Okay. And angle of depressions are given as 45 degree and 60 degree. 45 degree and 60 degree. If I need to find the angle of depression, I want the horizontal line, which will be the horizontal line from the aeroplane. This makes the horizontal line, isn't it? And which will be the line of sight if from the aeroplane it is looking towards A, this will be the line of sight. And this angle, one of the angles is given as 45 degree. And here, from C to B, this will be the line of sight. And this angle is given as 60 degree. Okay. And the question is to find the width of the river. That means we took A and B as the two points on both banks of the river. And we have to find the width of the river. Means we have to find the distance between A and B. To find the distance between A and B, already we know that this is a perpendicular height. 300 meters is given as a perpendicular height. That is why it is 90 degree. Okay. So we have a right triangle ADC and another right triangle BDC. But we know only this angle as 90 degree. What we have to do is this angle we know it is given as 45 degree. The line is per the dotted line is perpendicular is parallel to AB, isn't it? The dotted line is parallel to AB. That means AC will be acting as a transversal. So what will be this angle? This is also 45 degree. Okay. Same way this dotted line will be acting will be parallel to AB so that BC will be acting as a transversal. So as this angle is 60 degree, angle CBD is also 60 degree. Now we got two right triangles in which one of those angles we know. Okay, so we will apply the ratio. So we have the opposite side and we need the adjacent side. So connect these two, which is the ratio we will take tan. So tan 45 is equal to which triangle we are taking? Triangle ADC. So from triangle ADC tan 45 is equal to CD divided by AD. Tan 45, what's the value? 1. 1 is equal to CD is 300, which is the height from the ground level. AD. AD, what is AD? We don't know the value of AD. And then what we will get when we cross multiply? AD as 300. Okay, so this length we got as 300. Again, take the next triangle. Next triangle we are taking is triangle CDB. From that triangle also, we know the opposite side, we need to find a DB. So, again tan, tan 60 is equal to opposite side is CD divided by adjacent side is DB. Tan 60, what is the value? Root 3 is equal to CD is 300 divided by BD, we don't know the value. So, BD will be equal to 300 divided by root 3. What is our question? We need to find the width of the river. That means from the figure, we need to find the value of AB. And it is clear that AB is the sum of AD and DB. We got AD and we got BD. So AB is equal to AD plus DB. AD is 300 plus BD is 300 divided by root 3. Okay. Take 300 as common. So 300 into 1 plus 1 by root 3. Okay, so that is equal to, if we cross multiply, what we get is 300 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3. Okay, we can factorize the, rationalize the denominator by multiplying with the root 3. So what we get is, th root 3 into root 3 makes you 3. 3 and 300 get cancelled giving you 100. So 100 into root 3 plus 1 into root 3. Either we can stop here. Otherwise, if I multiply root 3 to the bracket, we will get 100 into root 3 into root 3 gives you 3. Plus 1 into root 3 gives you root 3. 
ओके सो दैट इज ईक्वल टू हंड्रेड इंटू वाट द वैल्यू ऑफ रूट थ्री वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू ओके थ्री प्लस वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू गिव यू फोर पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू फोर पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू हंड्रेड गिव यू द वैल्यू फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट टू मीटर्स दैट मीन विथ ऑफ द रिवर विच इज ए बी इज ईक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट टू मीटर्स